Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were on our way out of this little hidey hole we found, after bringing Christine back to where she's supposed to go, really. Uh, and we were going to drop off some of the stuff we found in that little hidey hole, before we uh, headed back to get Dean Domino, I remember his name being... So, we're going to drop these three. I didn't realize I picked up three in there. Holy shit. All right. Drop off these two. And apparently we have spring outfits we can drop off now. Because of a hollow tape we found in there. And how many chips do we have? 115. It's actually pretty good. So, I'm thinking... We should probably grab some more food. Food! I can't fucking talk anymore. <laughs> My throat's starting to give out on me. Oh, no! Uh, okay. Uh, do about eight. Why not? There we go. And how much do I have left? 75. Nice! Alright. With all that out of the way, we're going to head back to the main promenade. I don't even know if that's the correct name for it. I was also going to say proper, so kerper was what came out of my mouth. So we have to head to Dean Domino, or we can head back to the police station and make some more ammo. That I can do. That I should do. Because I have a lot of extra regular ammo for the pistol, the police pistol, that I don't need. And don't want at least in that regard so going to head back get out get that dealt with and then we'll head and get Dean Domino because we might as well do just that if it's a good plan it's always gonna work if it's not a good plan you're gonna die god every time I hear that thunder now I'm used to Fallout 4 now so every time I hear that thunder I'm like oh god a radiation storm could be coming in Run! But no, I don't run. Because I'm not a child. Entirely. Okay, let's refine that uh, bench. I can make rounds with. I think it's over here, actually. Now that I think about it, I think it's over here. Yep, over here. There we go. Let's break down all of these. All 61 of them. I didn't realize I had 61. I can only make 42? Why? Makes no sense. Oh, because I have more of these. Uh, should I? What's the problem I have? I have not enough lead. That's what the problem is. I find it pister. Pister. Pistol powder. I'm combining words because I'm really, really caffeinated. <laughs> So I'm trying to make things faster, and thusly fucking up. Uh, yeah, I need more lead than I do pistol powder. However, it would be always nice to have extra pistol powder. So, gonna break all of those down, build all these back up. Uh, do I have any more? I have plenty. I just don't have enough primers. That's the main problem now. Ah. Welp. Dems the brakes, I guess. Okay. Uh, hmm. Buckshot. Is that any different than the, uh, other rounds that I had? Because, uh, I wasn't really using the shotgun all that much. To be perfectly honest. And I'd be much happier just keeping the, you know, supplies of the lead and powder to myself and just fuck the uh, caravan rifle. Not the car uh, caravan shotgun, rather. Ugh. Brain just collapsing on itself regularly today. Ugh. Okay, now let's head ourselves out and go get Dean Domino. There we go. Yeah, the loads are getting a little better as well, I've noticed. A little better than they used to be. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay, good. I was about to say, I saw the glowing green eyes, so it got me concerned a little bit. And let's 
Did I use up the cheapo ammo? I did. I did. The hollow points are all used up. Nice. Let's turn on the light. Make it a little easier to see. On my way back to Dean. And... Shouldn't take too long now. There we are. There's Dean. There's Buddy. Hey there, bud. How's it going? Was that him floating above the fountain? The boss man? Ah. Uh -huh. The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Yep. Sure does like to make a presentation. Yeah. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no? Uh, Vera hologram? You know this holographic woman? Yeah, don't you? Or, guess Vera Keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in Bombs. name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Alrighty, can you tell me about her? Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Uh -huh. Nice voice, nice legs. Okay. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. For some, that's Sir it. made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind oh. of Cleopatra obsession. Huh. It wasn't always a death trap. Really? Introductions? You knew her before? Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Fair enough. There were a dozen Vera's or whatever her name was. Uh, Vera Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. The guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Fair enough, but you knew her name very well, in fact. So why did you suddenly forget what it was? Uh, have other people shown up in the search of the Sierra Madre before? Tourists, you bet. Mm -hmm. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. Probably true. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over. And they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. I see. So the visitors all killed each other? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Mm -hmm. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. I see. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bum collars or not. Already? Although, it's odd. The bum collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. That is probably true. So, fair enough. Also, I cracked my finger in the middle of that, in case you heard that. Sorry. Anyway, uh, any advice to getting through this? Well, considering my life's on the line, too, yeah. A few things. Squeaky chair, sorry. First off, keep everyone together. Uh -huh. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Uh -huh. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. That's and probably a good slow, idea. Don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. Well, too many of them, that's true. They're the only ones alive around here? Alive's a tricky word. Really? The locals, the ghost people... Not sure it applies to them. Fair enough. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much. As in, at all. Alright. Have you tried to deal with them? Oh, better question, where did they come from? We're going to see if this confirms my theory. Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. If there is more between heaven and earth... Oh, forget it. I'd sooner right. ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. 
I'm Fair counting enough. myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Focus? Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Fair enough. Have you tried to deal with them before? Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. Hmm. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. How tough are they? You shoot them, they get back up. You stab them, they get back up. That's why I have explosives all over this place. Unless you blow them up, chop them up, disintegrate them, the ghost people don't go down. Uh -huh. Not enough bullets in the town to spend on them. So unless you're a real good shot, save one for yourself right before they catch you. I'm a fair shot. One shot, one kill is how I handle problems. Well, you seem like you know how to handle yourself. All right. Once, I fired a lucky shot, hit a gas tank one was holding, blew his arm off at the shoulder, and he didn't get back up after that. Fair enough. So if you're that good, don't aim for the head, aim for their bombs. And if you can wait until his buddies are close by, even better. Fair enough. Well, we already knew that. That was what I did before. But extra XP. <laughs> Can't turn that down. All right. Is there anything else about them I should know? Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Mm -hmm. Normally, there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there. A lot more. Fair enough. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. That is a horrifying thought. Okay, I had other questions. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. That's a good point. You don't have a choice. <laughs> According to the marker, you're slated for a spot in Puesta del Sol. No. Looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. Huh. That place during spring, summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Is it? Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. Well, I was... And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Uh, any idea why he wants you there? Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination. Lowest common denominator. He hmm. figures the strong man's needed somewhere. Even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys need it doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. Well, to be fair, she's pretty good. No, I mean, he's pretty good about that. I was... I read Christine and then she popped in my head. Uh, he's pretty good even without being dog, just not as in control. But Christine... What about her? Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. Yeah, let's not focus on that. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. I assume it's lighting. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York. And this gig doesn't feel like that. Well, probably Don't get not. me wrong. I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Probably true. I'm not following you, but... I mean, he's not following me. I think I follow you. Odd man oh, out. Dead weight. 
Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Yeah. I Any got that. guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Poor him. Hmm. All right, I had other questions. It's your and. Do you have any idea about this gala event we're supposed to trigger? Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Is it? Lots of lights, music, the works. Hmm. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Uh, why it sure is interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. Mm. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the Fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. That is a very graphic description. But, uh, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the gala events tied into the casino's generators. Right, look, so not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. Yeah, I can tell. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. Mm -hmm. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Mm -hmm. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. What do you mean about the broadcast? Well, Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. Oh. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. Uh -huh. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? It's not an invitation, it's a call for help. Yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song. One only a few people are ever going to hear. Yeah. A little sad, but what can you do? Yeah, that's probably true. Not a lot you can do in that uh, regard. I found one of your stashes. Why did you leave them around the villa? Why? Survival. Fair enough. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. Fair enough. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. Of course, you show up putting your mitts on everything. Hey, I need stuff too. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. You better not. Scrounge supplies like what? I still need to eat. At least I think I do. Good point. The villa provides, even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Probably. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Did Not you? the best chef, but well, here's ah. the mix if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. Really? How do you make it? Scrape some cloud residue oh, off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, mm -hmm. then hold your nose and down it. There's Already. electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue. And I know a couple Although of them. it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. Fair oh. enough. Hey, now we learned it. Allowing you to mix cloud residue and junk food in a tin can. So I needed all those tin cans that I passed by earlier. Uh, at a campfire or electric hot plate for a surprisingly strong, restorative, and disgusting drink. Fair enough. Other questions, because I feel I should finish all of that up. Learn about the Sierra Madre before I end the episode. Uh, what are with the vending machines all over town? Those little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip. Get a treat. Like you're some dog doing tricks. Take uh -huh. any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. 
A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergencies. Hmm. I've never seen machines like those before. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Hmm. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. All right, fair enough. Grifters. Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. So like all of America, okay. <laughs> Pretty much at this point now. How did he describe it? Called it self-sufficient. Like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. Yeah, that's a way to look at it. In some ways. Uh, what other items can you get out of the machines? If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. I have a couple of those, Even though. security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Fair enough. Where can I find these cards? Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. Fair enough. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. That's probably a good point. Um, other questions? Because I'm making this the episode where I learn a bunch of shit about the Sierra Madre from Dean. Uh, tell me about the cloud. The cloud showed up after the bomb, I think. I got used to it in small doses. Mm -hmm. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Explains a lot. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Fair enough. Other questions? Uh, what can you tell me about the villa and the town? Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep mm. away from the police station. It's a ghost people hangout. Nah, Salida del really Sol, bad. Puesta del Sol are east town, west town. Sunrise and sunset. Makes or sense. were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people mm -hmm. don't come into the villa much. West town and east town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people. Like hunting grounds. Yeesh. Uh... I don't think I have many more questions. Yeah, I think we should travel together. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. For now. Alrighty. And I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. We learned quite a bit about the history of this place. So, I think we're pretty good for right now. I should probably put it on this because I need to save it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games and learning for you.